Okay, I'm going to talk to you about Google Alerts. One of the um, useful things we can do with Google is rather than using it to search for things, and it's very good at searching for things, uh, but that can still be a very time consuming exercise, especially if you're often searching for the same thing. So for this module, it may be that on a regular basis you want to look for information about eBay, or Tesco, or MySpace, or email, or whatever it happens to be. And for the other modules um, that you're doing on your course, there may be other terms that you're repeatedly looking for. So rather than keep going to Google and searching for things, you can ask Google to actually gather up that information for you. So if I click on more from the Google homepage, one of the options I've got is to choose alerts. And if I choose alerts, it asks me to tell it certain things. I need to tell it the search term, maybe eBay, MySpace, censorship, competition, economics, whatever it happens to be. And then I need to tell it whether I want it to look in just the news section of Google's database, or the blogs, or the web, or the Google groups. Or comprehensive, it'll search all the databases. How often do I want to receive this? Well, I set my alerts to come in once a day, but you can have it once a week or as it happens. Um, and then give it an email address to send it to. And then click on the Create Alert, and it creates an alert for you. And by default, you can set up to three alerts per email address. Okay? What does this look like in practice? Well, in practice, once you've set it up, what you get is this. If I call up my inbox now, and I have a look down here, I'll find that I've got some Google Alerts waiting for me. This is a Google News Alert for Tesco, and we'll see here that it gives me lots of links and information about Tesco, for example. This one is about eBay. Let's see, so a few consoles being sold on eBay, uh, the eBay sign of the day, hoodwinked eBay, customer gets no comfort, lots of kind of topical useful information. So if you need topical things to put in for your exam questions, for example, your exam answers, um, or some of your essays, um, or assignments <coughs>